How much money do you make from streaming? This is so good. This is so good. I'm so happy. I can see through time and space. What's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're joined by... Rapes. How do you think you'll do today? What is your headspace like going into this 10-wing gauntlet? Uh, I think I'm going to die. So I'm writing up my will as we speak, and hopefully I'll be able to see the light of day. Thank you so much for asking, Sean. Welcome to the show. So it is now my birthday, April 6th, and, and today I turn the ripe old age of 36. Yes, I'm an old man. Yes, um, I look a, a lot younger than what you would expect a 36 year old to look like traditionally. Let me tell you of a time that I went to a pub and I was about like mid twenties or so, maybe late twenties. And everyone else there was 18 that I was going to this pub with, I was doing a play. All the 18 year olds straight on through. Me, stopped at the door, asked to show the ID, does a double take and goes, I'm sorry, mate, I'm sorry, just you look really young. And I was like, thanks, man. Cut to the bar, I'm waiting at the bar. They then double check me again and I hand over my driver's license at this busy packed bar with all these people around waiting for their drinks. And the bartender looks at it, looks at me and then goes, Dave, Dave. Dave comes across another bartender, right? And then goes, check this out. This guy's 29, isn't that crazy? The whole bar's looking at me and I'm like, can I just get my drink and leave please? That is the story. That is the story of looking young. You know what I mean? So, first wing, which is the classic hot sauce. Let's let's have the first one. That's okay. That's the first one. That's fine. What is your favorite game of all time? My favorite game of all time for nostalgic purposes when I first played it and I was blown away was Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. It was a game like I never experienced before. It was everything I wanted in a game, action, adventure, puzzle, like Indiana Jones basically. Loved it. If I was to go even further, because you can't just have one game, Bioshock. Um, Bioshock to me was another adventure. I think you can kind of see where I'm going with these games. I like story-driven narratives, lots of action, RPG elements. So Bioshock was definitely uh, my favorite in single player. If we're talking about multiplayer, I play a lot of Overwatch, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I'd probably say Civilization um, all around, I think is the best game ever made. But it's just how in depth it is. So now on to bottle number two. This is this is a thick this is a thick wing. Can I just say sweet jeep? I dumped a lot on that. That's just it's like watery. <laughs> Bottoms up. Is that what I say when I eat hot wings? Sure, let's give that a shot. That's just really nice. Whatever that one's called, I recommend it. That's really good. Do you know how to use a boomerang? Yes, I do. I have worked at a museum, which told me all about the different types of boomerangs as well. You may think that there's only one type of boomerang that comes back to you. Incorrect. I believe it's only an Eastern Australian uh, uh, Aboriginal invention and then was migrated over to the West was I believe it's called like a kiri or something like that. It's basically short for like a killing stick where they literally just, you know, chucked it at the animal and it didn't come back. But apparently it's all about the wind. So if you've got like on a windy day, don't even worry about chucking a goddamn boomerang. It's gotta be quite still and you gotta know where, which way the wind's coming from. Now, can I prove that? No, I don't, I haven't thrown a boomerang each and every day, but I've learned a lot about it. Did you know that the boomerang was also painted, patented? by someone for $1 who wasn't Aboriginal and now is holding it over um, the heads of a whole, you know, uh, indigenous Australian generation. So there you go. The, the more you know. Let's move on to source number three. This is the Barbados style hot sauce. Apparently this is the last easy one. Oh, this one's thick. That is doused, my friends. That is absolutely a doused. It's very bright, but you can see that I've definitely smothered this bad boy. Okay, it's getting a bit hot. Why'd you choose the name Reaps? How did I choose the name Reaps? Back when I was a child, I used to be obsessed with wrestling. I'm talking WCW versus WWF, Monday Night Wars. Loved it, I was all into it. I love Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I love Sting from WCW, right? 
So my first ever username online was Sting316, which basically took both their kind of names, catchphrases and put them together, right? I used to be a part of this thing called an F-Fed, which is basically like an online message board of, about wrestling. And my, my character's name, which was basically like fantasy booking, was The Reaper. That was my character's name. Like basically like an Undertaker ripoff. You know what I mean? So that was that was my username at the time was The Reaper. Um, when I went on to Twitch, I tried to get Sting316. It was taken. Um, and I tried different variations and they were all taken. So um, when I was thinking of a name, I thought Reaper. Reaper316, uh, that's, that's, too, that's too cheesy. Reaps. So I put Reaps 316, and I had that I think since 2014. It was just some, it was just a name I needed to put in to watch Twitch and talk and chat. So I put that in, um, and from there, when I started thinking about how am I going to start streaming, I thought to myself, okay, what if what if Reaps themselves wasn't me, but was a corporation that basically overlooked hell? Like if hell was a a, a, a tourist destination, how would they market? How would they market hell? So I basically then constructed, as you can see, the venue outside. I constructed the studio inside. Um, and basically it's like the Ronald McDonald of fast food. A, a, a smiling, creepy thing to lure in, you know, people to think it's nice, safe and secure. So that is the genesis of Reaps. The Los Calientos. Bring it on. I'm going to douse this. So that is a lot of sauce. Here we go. That's really hitting at the back of your throat. It's like the afterburn. It's when you swallow it. Oh, this is like a, I mean, this is a slow burn, this one. What is some advice you would give your past self? In terms of uh, streaming, I would say, if you want to be a streamer, don't just do Twitch streaming. Last advice would be start a YouTube, start a, start a Twitter, start a TikTok, start everything that points to your streaming. That'd be my past advice to myself is don't just go, I'm going to get people watching me just by streaming on Twitch, but it's never going to happen. It's never, it's never, zoom in. It's never going to happen. You need to explore outside of Twitch. Twitch itself, I love Twitch, obviously, but you will not be discovered on Twitch. People are not going to scroll down to zero viewers to watch somebody. You got to bring people in from outside. It's like you on the street busking. Come and see my play. Free, 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 free. That type of stuff. That's my advice to streaming. Advice to myself. Um, don't, don't, um, okay. I'm trying to phrase this correctly. Some of you may feel the, the same way about this. Don't hold yourself up against other people. Don't compare yourself to other people in terms of success, living, relationships, anything like that. Every person, as cliche and as corny as it sounds, has their own journey. The more you focus on yourself and what makes you happy, rather than what you think will make you happy because another person makes um, seems like they're happy, you know, that whole social media thing, it doesn't work for you. You just become depressed, you become lonely. Um, it's, it's just, it's, it's toxic. It's completely toxic. Think about what makes you happy is the biggest advice I would give to my younger self because Lord knows when I was a kid, like I think most people, you want to be rich, you want to be famous, you want to be, you know, known for something. And the more that you try and hold yourself up to those ab way and above and beyond expectations, the more you realize that it's just, it's not going to, it's not going to make you happy. And even when you reach those levels, if you reach those levels, you're still not going to be happy because there's always something more. There's always something, there's always something more. There's always something, that person has something, that person has something. That's what I would say. Truth. What was your least favorite streaming experience and why was it the entirety of Baldi's basics and education and learning? My worst ever streaming experience was when I got into my own head. I think in 2019, I was trying to grow the channel. I had this, like, you know, with everyone, it's like, I got to become partner. I got to become partner. And I was trying really hard to do the things on Twitch that never happened outside. Well, I should have been focusing on outside rather. Now I was just focusing on Twitch. So it never going to happen to me. Um, I was playing a game. It was a horror game. It was about one being in space. I think it was only on the Epic Store at the time. And I could t I was not in the mood to stream that day. And I still streamed because I was like, I, I need to do the grind. You know, they always tell you about the grind. Don't do the grind. The grind's stupid. Um, they're like, the grind, you're getting a partner. Grind, grind, grind. So I remember, this was also at the time when I was looking at view account. 
And I, by about an hour and a half, as I was really, I was putting all this energy into this stream to try and make it interesting, but it's a very slow paced game. Um, I, I looked at the view account and I think it was about 14 people. And I usually average around that time at about like 25, 30 or something like that. And it just hit me like a, like a ton of bricks, you know? And I immediately just went, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I, I gotta go. And I immediately stopped stream. And I went to my room and I just remember feeling so downtrodden. Like I think we all do in, in certain avenues of our life where you try so hard for something. You feel like you're doing a good job. You feel like you're, you know, you're really bringing something to the table and it doesn't show. Like the, the outcome is not what you put in. So I just remember that was, that was when I took about, I think a, a two month break from streaming. I was just so, so over it. And um, yeah, I, I, I took a break. That was the worst ever streaming experience of my life. And that's why I never look at view accounts. I, I, I don't want to know view accounts. Uh, it shouldn't affect how I act on camera. So my advice is don't do view accounts, focus on the product, focus on the content. And even if there's only one person watching you and you think you're putting out a good product, it's gonna be found out sooner or later. That was me um, holding up an expectation that I couldn't fulfill, you know? That was me looking at other people going, why am I getting, why, why am I getting 14 people? Which is a toxic mentality to have for you and everybody around you. Ah, I've heard this is just, this is just death. This one right here, the bomb, is apparently just, it, it has no taste. It's just insta-death. All right, here we go. It barely drizzles out. I'm not sure how much I should put on it. It looks like, oh look, now it's coming out. Oh God, okay. That is glazed all over. A few moments later. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. I'm so happy. I can see through time and space. What's your favorite thing to do besides streaming? <laughs> I'm crying. In a good way, because of the baby, so cute. Uh, 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 what's my favorite thing to do besides you? It's not eating hot wings. I, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm lightheaded. Uh, what's my favorite thing to do besides you? Going for walks. Going by as dumb as that sounds. Going for walks. <coughs> going, to, going to a park, putting on a podcast, and going to the gym, not focusing on my life. Just, just listening to other people is, it's to me, it's the best thing to do. Um, I get out of my own head. I don't have to worry about my problems. Is what is one thing about streaming you wish you knew when you first started? As I said before, obviously expand outside of Twitch. Ah! One thing that I would say is focus on yourself and what makes your content good and different from everybody else's. I think a lot of people start streaming um, to do one thing. It's because they see how easy it is when big time streamers sqc shroud people get like 50,000 views right they're constantly getting subs they're getting bits they've got this like diehard stands telling them how amazing they are and i think people see that as like that's a really easy thing to attain i'm going to do that what we've got to realize is that that, that that doesn't happen they they've made a road to get there everyone's got a different road to get there i would write down five things that you wish that you could do as streaming in general that people haven't done before or that you want to attain. Because I promise you, if you've got a goal of where you want to go, it's so much easier to dictate to yourself how to achieve that goal. When I started streaming, I did it just for the sake of it. I just wanted to entertain and play games. There was no overarching thing. The more that I got these people following me and saying, oh, you know, I, I'm sure that one day, you know, you'll, you'll make it big, all this stuff. It felt good, but then it totally changed what I streamed for. And I kind of lost my way a bit. And then when I took that break and I wrote down what I want from streaming, one of the big things was creating a community that can help me along doing this. So I would say write down what you want to do before you start streaming. In a year's time, if you're still doing it, check back what your original goals were and see if they still line up. Because you change so much as a person. So that's what I wish I would have done. I wish I would have done written down my goals and what, I, what my, I aspired to do before I started streaming. So that I could look back and go, wow, look what I've achieved or what I still need to achieve or why did I even think that was a goal in the first place? I wish I did that. Oh my, 676,000 Scovilles? 676, 
That's like five times the amount of the previous one. I didn't get it out of the bottle, it's that thick. It's that thick and viscous. Oh, I've made a terrible, terrible mistake right now. We're good though. We're fine. What is a skill or weakness that you would like to improve on in the future? I would like to learn to be more positive about myself. I think, um, like everyone, you, uh, when you, when you go live with streaming, it's definitely a heightened version of yourself. Behind the scenes, when the cameras are off, when I'm not streaming, I get a bit down on myself, like everyone. So I would like to be more positive towards myself. I think that's a, that's a big skill that everyone needs to go through in life, is to um, look on the upside, because I know a lot of the time, you like to look on the downside. It is not yet be rated or classified. Oh God, oh no. Oh, oh. So what we gotta do, if you don't know what happens, I've gotta douse it, marinate it, and then I gotta do a dab on top of it and eat it. So it's like double, double marinated. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God, it's so, it's so thick. Okay. This is the last one. Go big or go home, am I right? I am home, doesn't matter. But you know, you know the saying. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Why did I breathe in? Why did I breathe in? Oh God. Ah, uh, as is tradition, you gotta put a little extra on the last wing. Just to prove that, that little blob right there, that, that's the extra. Shut down. I can't feel my tongue. I can't feel my tongue and the roof of my mouth. I'm so happy. This is not pain. I was... Happy birthday, Reefs. Happy birthday, me. I can see through time and space. Oh God, it's getting worse. <laughs> Why is it getting worse? And I know that there's one more question. There's one more question that I, I, I know was asked from the last stream that I promised that I would, I would um, answer today. And it's this, and it's how much money do you make from streaming? I gotta be completely honest with you right now. This is, this is gonna be, this is gonna be the hook and by crook. Because you're wondering, yo Reaps, is this a sustainable living? This is before tax. This is not including donations. This is not including merch sales. When I took my two weeks off, I, I made 2,800 Australian dollars. And that was in my two weeks off, right? This past month, I can show, I'm not gonna show you because obviously it's, it's confidential, but um, I don't wanna show you my PayPal basically. This past month, I made about 4,800 before tax Australian dollars. I'm, I'm gonna talk to Twitch obviously uh, about different contracts and stuff like that. But this is the hook and by crook. Um, I cannot tell you how much I make per month, but as I said, this is completely busking right now. Um, this does not include um, costs of the stream itself. All, all this, everything like that, you've got to, you've got to take it away. But that past month was amazing. I have made as low as, um, uh, you know, like a thousand dollars, and I've made as high as I think the most I've made is about six to seven thousand dollars in one month. Um, and I was, that was a very fortunate month for me. So everything's on the table. Um, I'm being completely honest with you. Again, um, if you do. Let's just say 5,000 times 12, um, whatever that is, like 50, like 60,000 thereabouts. This is before tax. It's, um, it's a sustainable living for me at the moment. And I enjoy doing it. And that's the most important part. So to all those people that keep it going, I say thank you so much. Um, it really does mean a tremendous deal. Hopefully we can go to bigger and better heights. <laughs> oh, but I got a nice bit of chili right there. Added bonus for you guys. I love all your faces. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.